welcome to mechanical tutorial i am going to teach you different techniques in solidworks for mechanical engineers i am going to train you different modules like surface modeling sheet metal and enclosure design product design plastic components design reverse engineering and many more tips and tricks in solidworks hi today i am going to explain about bicycle handle grip left side you can see the assembly of handle grip right side top component is foam or plastic grip and uh, the green color component is rubber grip in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to create these two components with top down approach these are the pair of bicycle handle grip Here I am going to explain about how to create this component. And this rubber grip. With a top down approach. So I have taken the new SOLIDWORKS part file. Now I am going to create planes to create this component, the plastic component. So select the right plane, go to feature, select plane. So distance is 25 mm and instances 2. Now I am going to show these planes and also the right plane. Now once again select the right plane, go to plane option. And now flip the direction. Create three. So you can see three planes has been created. Say okay. So total of uh, six planes we have to create, including right plane. Now. Select the right plane, go to sketch, create a circle. So this is 22 mm. Now make it a construction. Now select the circle, make offset of 6 mm. So, okay. So one circle has been created. Now select the plane 1. Go to sketch. Keep it normal. Now select this inner circle. So this is for reference for to all the circles. So keep offset of 4 mm. Say okay. See here. Now select this plane to go to sketch, keep it normal. Select the construction circle, keep offset of 7 mm. Say 
say the three circles are created now select this plane 3 go to sketch select inside construction circle make offset of 8 mm now select the plane 4 go to sketch keep it normal offset of 10 mm now select this plane 5 construction keep it normal select inside circle and make offset of 8 mm now we have to create the loft feature select loft boss select each circle say okay so there is a smooth transition see why I have used use this loft feature instead of uh, using revolve for example if I take a sketch in the front plane and create convert entity sketch now remove this constraint see when we move this see this is a simple spline this spline is not recommended for creating a sketch because we cannot give the dimension in the drawing and uh, if i use curves it is difficult to maintain smooth transition with the curves maintaining tangency so that is why it is better to prefer loft feature and it is easy to control these diameters during product design so that is the advantage of this loft feature now select this front plane go to sketch and I am going to hide these planes take a construction line See here I am going to create uh, this uh, doom shape, the rear side doom shape. So select this edge convert entity, take a three point arc, I am going to use revolve feature. So, if I create this arc with revolve feature, there won't be tangency with the other side. So, to avoid such problem, we have to draw one more construction line and select these two lines. It should be always perpendicular. 
now select this arc and this line make it tangent so it will even if you move anywhere when we make the revolve feature there will be a tangency with the surface now this is 5 mm now draw one horizontal line on this axis now we can trim these lines see i think this is not collinear so we can make collinear with the axis so it is constrained now now we have to go to revolve feature and select the center line say okay see here there is a smooth transition on the surface it creates like a single surface otherwise if the sketch is not defined properly there will be a depression or projection at this center location so that is the simple trick so now i am going to remove material from inside see earlier i have taken 22 mm So this 22 mm reference sketch we have to select this and convert entity see why i have taken this 22 mm is this is the handle rod there now select the extruded cut Here. it is 120 depth see here I have taken simple extruded cut there is no uniformity in the material this is like a foam material so if it is foam material there is no uh, it's not required to maintain uniform but uh, if you are making plastic component then you have to make a offset is the, of the outer surface and make it revolve feature so at this moment i am creating as a foam component i am going to create this inside depression feature select the front plane so create a sketch on the front plane take an ellipse Select this point and it is around 34.
ਨੇ ਕਿਤੇ ਹਾਰ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਹਨ ਐਂਡ ਸੈਲੈਕਟ ਦਿਸ 3 ਪੁਆਇੰਟਸ ਮੇਕ ਇਟ ਵਰਟੀਕਲ so ellipse is 63 by 55 now go to feature select split line keep it in solid mode and select this face see this split surface has been created now we have to remove the material inside to place this green rubber grip so what we have to do is we have to select this face go to surface module select offset surface and make it 0 mm it's like a copy surface now select this offset surface go to thicken cut and give one mm and say okay so material has been removed so we have to verify the direction if you give 1 mm and select the other option it doesn't remove the material so we have to verify the both the direction whether the thicken cut is moving outward or inward so we have to select this inward now this component has been created so we have to create small circular depressions so select this front plane keep it in wire frame create a circle at this edge it should be coincide here see we get, you should get coincident symbol we have to verify make it coincide now we have to specify the distance so distance is 69 by 27 to mm there now we have to make equal circles select this circle control and select this circle and make it equal go to feature revolve cut so here we have to select the temporary axis select this temporary axis see this final component with grooves is completed 
next i am going to create the rubber grip for creating the rubber grip we have to take new assembly file so i have taken the new assembly file we have to insert the foam grip keep it in float see never fix this component while doing in top down approach we have to constrain with the planes so select the front plane top with the top right with the right now it is constrained so i have to take new part file so go to assembly once again go to insert component place it somewhere so now we have to constrain front plane with front plane So for component we have to take meeting conditions with the planes. Now this is a blank file. Now we have to edit this part. So select the edit part. Now select this top face and go to surface module. Select offset surface and make it zero. So it is like a copy surface to other component. Now come out of the edit mode. So this is copied surface. Now what we have to do is we have to provide some clearance in this side both the sides so what we have to do select front plane go to sketch take center line See here we cannot directly take offset. So we what we have to do is we have to create a arc. Make it construction. Just select this line, make it convert entity, and make it construction. Now 
now select this end point so it is already coincided with this edge now make this as a construction arc now select this arc make offset of 1 mm see here draw simply one rectangle go to corner trims select this and simply remove these lines so here this offset uh, distance is important so rest we can constrain simply using sketch tools and dimensions fully constrained simply select this so calculate this so leave as it is because it consumes a lot of time here we main focus of uh, dimension is on and on so now go to surface module and select extruded surface see keep it in mid plane now go to surface trim surface select this surface and to remove this surface select the outer one you can see in magenta color say okay and hide this surface similarly we have to create from the other side also so select the front plane go to sketch keep it normal keep it in wireframe select this convert entity select this convert entity and take three point arc Now select three lines, three entities, and make it a construction. Select this and make offset of one mm. Say okay. So we have to draw rectangle. We have to go to See why I am using this uh, trim tool. I should not disturb the arc because uh, it is not fully constrained. So automatically it will disturb the arc. So to avoid such problem, we have to use trim tool. Trim extend or corner trim. Okay. This is one of the good practice to move the sketch outside. Select corner trim here. Select both the entities. Now we can delete 
these lines. Now go to tools, dimensions, and fully constrained. Say here. Now go to surface module, extruded surface. Select it. Mid plane. And say okay. Now select the trim surface. And I select this outer. Surface to remove. Say OK. Now hide the surface. Now select this this surface and go to thicken feature. Make it fine. Say OK. Let's go to assembly. So finally, I have taken 4 mm thick uh, rubber grip. Now I am going to create the elliptical depression. Select this uh, front plane, go to sketch, create an ellipse. See, whenever we create an ellipse, we have to constrain these points vertically and horizontally. Otherwise, it will rotate. Now, this center point with this origin, make it horizontal. So the ellipse is 36 by 25. Now I am going to take offset. Say OK. So before creating this groove, we have to split the surface because we have to create both the sides. So select this face, go to split line and we have to select the shield out and select the front plane. So it is created into two faces. Now 
once again go to split line select projection select this sketch and this face say ok so the surface has been created now we have to create from other side also so select this sketch go to split line select this face say ok so here also it is created now select this face go to shape surface module create offset surface of 1 mm 0 0 offset is nothing but copy surface here also now select this surface go to thicken cut give one mm see the direction is it whether it's inside or outside looks outside so we have to flip the direction say ok this inside groove is created now we have to select this face go to thicken cut one mm Say so, okay. So the final component is ready. This is how we create these kind of components with top down approach in product design. Thanks for watching.